Okay, and other good news. This is gonna. This, okay, all our Christian listeners, I'm sorry, I have to say this and I have to celebrate this, but this is really good. It's a very good story. Um, last week we talked about how uh, it's it's hard, it's it's very hard to find a believing Christian in in the UK, but now look at this one, Nuria. Poll reveals American ch church membership is at an all-time low. Church used to be a place where many people gathered to observe the Lord's Day on Sundays. Uh, but now you see them. <laughs> That's on, where we should uh, be right uh, now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, in recent years, there have been fewer and fewer churchgoers actually going. In fact, church membership is at the lowest it has been in years, according to a recent poll from Gallup. It turns out that memberships have been on the decline since last year. It's, whoop, whoop. it's very weird. It, it, it's weird that th this pandemic actually made more disbelievers than believers for some reason. Yes, because Horace, people had time to think and contemplate. People experienced exactly. death firsthand. People experienced a, a pandemic that nobody could have imagined and envisioned. And like, you know, the, your entire life like got flipped on its head and... Yeah, I, I, that's what I've been hearing. Like, just like listening to these various YouTube podcasts, it seems that the, like COVID was a time for a lot of people to contemplate a lot of things and actually question their most deepest held beliefs. Uh, maybe it's just a, it's just a like, um, would you call it like a confirmation bias? But where I am going on these streams, I'm seeing COVID being an indicator for a lot of people questioning and then moving to that next stage of their journey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, it, it very well. It could very well be because you know you 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 you'd be thinking, hang on, why did God do this? Imagine how many people lost their jobs. Imagine how many. So then people would have been angry and 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 sad and depressed, and they would have. And and you're right, they they had a lot of time to contemplate. They had a lot of time to think about it, and they would have like, you know what? No, God's got nothing to do with this. Why? Because God doesn't exist. So anyway, so listen to this. But 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 there's an overall trend as well, though. In 2020, the year of the COVID-19 pandemic, when everything basically shut down, 47% of Americans said they belonged to a church, synagogue, or mosque. That's down from 50% in 2018. So, okay, so there's three percentage point reduction, but look at this one. And a whopping 70% in 1999. So when I was at high school, 70% of Americans were churchgoers. Damn, 1999, it's not that far away. You were probably <laughs> just a kid back then. But mm -hmm. I was I was at high school, and seventy percent, more than half, way more than half of the American population were Christians. For context, U.S. church membership, and, and look at this one. So, it, it's, so that that's it's, a nice it's, change, Horace, in your lifetime from a high school to yeah. a can I dare I say a middle aged man? No, <laughs> but yeah, from, <laughs> from that to that, it's it's not bad. We're moving very much in the right direction. I think Steven Pinker would be happy to hear this as well. Just because my life is in crisis, it doesn't mean it's midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I was going purely by age, but sure. <laughs> what? I'm only nah, 33 it's fine. years it's fine. old. It's fine. 40s new 30. <laughs> I, I'm not in my 40s yet. I, yet I've got another seven years word. to go. <laughs> I've got another seven years. <laughs> if, if you wish hard enough, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, well, take, take, I, I don't take know a any... leaf out of the Sanatani's book. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any gray hair yet. Look, Do I look, do I look 38? I don't. Well, maybe if we look hard enough, we'll find one. Ooh, not a single gray hair. <laughs> okay. No, not a single gray hair because I yesterday I pulled them all out. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you brush up nicely for us. Anyway, let's all carry right. on. All right, all right. Let's move on. But, but, but look at this one. So it, it has actually stayed steady for quite some time. For context, U.S. church membership was at 73%. So 73% when Gallup first measured in 1937. So 73% in 1937 and 70% in 1999. So it stayed nearly the same over the course of the next 60 years. The turn of the 21st century was when things began to decline for church membership. So this century has done something. Why? What, is, what has happened? Obviously, 2001, yeah. September 11th. And also our dearly beloved professor, Richard Daw Dawkins, this new atheist movement that has really, really hurt them. So what's the reason for the drop? The decline in church membership is primarily a function of the increasing number of Americans who express no religious preference. Gallup explains, over the last two decades, there have been more and more Americans who aren't identifying with 
any one particular religion, a number that has increased from 8% in 1998 to 2000 to 13% and to 21% over the past three years. So 21%, Nuria, which is still a bit lower than I would have hoped. But I think 33% of Australians are Christians or agno oh, sorry, atheists or agnostics. I've seen this number go to 30% in other cases, but I think these ones are just saying strictly no religion. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so that could be. But anyway, that's still that's a very sizable uh, number, si sizable minority, yeah, and I think we'll that is that. going to. Um, yeah, and, and we'll take that. And I'd live to see the day when we see these numbers in Pakistan. Imagine that. But I'm telling you, Nuria, that's going to happen in the Muslim world. It is going to happen in our lifetime. Really, when we, maybe when we've it got will. dentures and no. we're sitting on that rocking chair thinking if we have any regrets. No, but I, I yeah. don't, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I hope so. I really hope in our lifetime. I just, I don't know with the way things are going. But yeah, this is good. This is good though, all around. The thing is, the thing is, even people who do have a religious preference are contributing to the decline in the formal informal church membership in the years between 1998 and 2000 an average of 73% of religious Americans belong to a church, synagogue and mosque. Blah, blah, blah. Gallup also dives into the age and gen generational differences right. that could come be on Gen Z. Decline. There it is. Come on millennials. 66% of traditionalists, US adult adults born before 1946. So these are baby boomers. Oh, they call it traditional. Oh, sorry, born before 1946. Yeah, they're like my Long grandparents' generation, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the Second World War generation. Belong to a church compared with 58% of baby boomers, 50% of those in Gen X, and 36% of millennial. Are you, are you a millennial? Yes. You the company explains now it seems a millennial in Gen Z. Gen Z is going to Gen Z are going to change the narrative. Watch this space. I'm a, I'm a Gen Z. Uh, let's <laughs> what the hell? Are you even allowed I'm to a, be on YouTube, mate? <laughs> I'm, I'm a senior. I'm on the I'm on the arse end of uh, Gen uh, Gen Y. Or, or oh, Gen listen, M or listen. We could have believed you, yeah, with the whole I've got seven years till forty, but now you've really, really pushed it. <laughs> are less likely to join church than their older baby boomer counterparts. So there you go. So it's, Gen, it's the millennial than Gen Z is. And I think Gen Z is when they come to power, it's going to be a whole different ball game. Um, Trust me. Gallup yeah. shares that 30. Yeah. So I, I, I just want to talk about, I, I just want to say that, you know, a lot of Christians might see this. Oh, mm. look, the, fa the very fact that we live in, in a secular world, is testament to the fact that we, um, we, you know, we can all talk to each other. We can all coexist. Any religious society you look at, any religious society, yes, most of them are Islamic religious societies, and we see them, how minorities or non-Muslims are treated there. So I, I have a firm belief that if, let's just say, so, so right now there's 21%, and, you know, later on, Gen Zs, when they come to power, and when, when they, you know, when they're uh, in, in the Congress and in positions positions of influence. It's not that we're going to look down on Christians or whatever, because these people have grown up in these secular values. Yes, we might be atheist, very, you know, some people might come across as very dogmatic or radical atheists, but all of us, the, the ones that I know of, all these atheists actually hold these secular values that every individual must be allowed to have their religious freedom. You know, you should, you're a Christian, you're a Muslim or whatever, you should be allowed to go to your mosque and church and even preach. I even say you should be allowed to preach your religion. You know, the other day I was walking down and this guy walked up to me and he gave me this Christian pamphlet. I was like, no, nah, okay, I'll just took it. And, and I made sure that, you know, I have gone out of his vision to put that in the bed. <laughs> yeah, I but I was preached I to the hallway in an Uber ride on my way to an interview. And that's when I'm like, that's not cool. It's like eight o'clock in the morning and you're trying to proselytize and, and I'm testing me on it. So it's like, so what does God need from us? What was Jesus's message to you? I was like, so he, I'm he, not he asked you to repeat like, himself? <laughs> like his, <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, this is the who last is our thing Lord and Savior? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, can, can you drop me off now already, mate, please? 
so that that's when it's not cool like yep yeah. but again that's like <laughs> what Hitchin says as well you know just don't dangle your toys in my face just keep keep a bit of distance some people like things dangling around their faces right <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, like a, like like a rosary you know like a rosary jesus bible you, Ooh, know? Like, you, bought, bible. That, you bought that back very very smoothly like i like it but i like it hair, but, <laughs> but i think my hand gesture uh, didn't help me there but anyway so nothing my point was, that. yeah so i i um <laughs> I um, for example, the, 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 this event that I'm going to be going to, and I've been invited by ex-Muslim Christians, and uh, we had the Zoom meeting, and we talked about what we we're going to do and how we're going to approach. I was the only atheist there, so so the girl who was chairing the meeting and her father, I didn't know that her father, the, 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 he he was uh, uh, the elderly chap in that in that whole meeting. And I didn't know, well, well I kind of gathered that, that they were all Christians. But anyway, so, so at the end, um, uh, the chairperson said that, okay, Harris, we're going to end this with, with a prayer to our almighty Jesus. Um, uh, you're an atheist. You're, if you want to go, you can go. And she said it as politely as she could. And, you know, like, and, and then I had to return the gesture too. I mean, I didn't care. I was like, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll just sit through. I, I mean, I'm not going to just go exit. Now you can play with your religious whatever so anyway so I, I i sat there and i listened and i was looking there and i and i um you know i, I was respectful i listened did you feel intently. something Horace? did you feel something inside change you didn't fight feel the divine spirit i wasn't well, work no, its I, way I, within I, I, you and i felt yeah i did feel something i felt sorry for them <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> no that, that, that that's harsh no but i i i, I I, I get that feeling where they get it from. And, and there's, you know, I want to tell our Christian audience, just as much as we tell our Muslim audience, that we get it. We get it that you feel that way towards your Lord and your Allah and towards your, 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 your traditional Hinduism or whatever. We, we get that you feel that. The only battle that we're fighting, and that's predominantly with the Muslim world, that look, we're willing to give you respect. Just reciprocate, you know, just give it back to us. As just well. respect our existence up. back. Yeah, exactly. Just that. Even if we come to power, which eventually the world would be, this whole big world would be secular world and the religions would be a thing of past. And, like, you know, the, the, this, the, what, what was it? 60%? Oh, no, it's fallen down to what? What was it? Number? The, 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 the fallen down 70%? No, sorry, no, there were seventy no, percent. Now they're falling forty-seven yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. So the, now they're falling down to forty-seven percent, and they're going to become twenty percent in the next twenty years. So you will be a minority, you know. But we're not going to look down on you. We're, we're, we're going to, you know, like you would have your rights. You would, you would have, you you would be allowed, or you should be allowed. Not allowed as in like we're giving you a privilege, but it, it's your right. It's not a privilege. It's your mm -hmm. right to practice whatever you want to practice. So, uh, so I, I was listening, and I was like, you know, like I felt like, you know. It's so cute. <laughs> Can I get away with that one? It's cute. They're, they're, they're saying that, oh, Lord Jesus, just help us. And they were praying for... Some of uh, it's really different. nice, though. I I love, like, like I'd go to those choir sessions sometimes in church because I was in, instilled with it from, like, primary school in England. You have to sing those, like, ca Christmas carols and stuff. And as a little kid, I, I loved it. I couldn't wait. Yeah. And even now when there's, like, a mass thing, it's just beautiful, like, candles everywhere. It's really, like, it is a sense of... I appreciate music anyway, so it's just a sense of being in that and different Hell environment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just devoid of all of the you know i'm going to start speaking in tongues after this shortly <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah um, um uh, the, 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 just the last couple of two lines a uh, couple of lines i think they're very important gallup shares that 31 percent of millennials have no religious affiliation up from 22 percent just one decade ago additionally 33 percent of gen z crew are considered that are considered adults do not have any religious preference so you can see that um you know uh, millennials and uh, even more Gen Zs, a bigger percentage of Gen Zs uh, are considered uh, who don't have any religious preference preferences. So um, are you an avid church goer? What do you think of the decline in church membership? Comment below and let us know of your thoughts. I will be right back, Horace. I need to answer that right now. <laughs> <laughs> to help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal. 